obviously a minor wall breaker is bomb tower magic archer so pretty good matchup for me but he's so good so it's really really hard to beat him he always plays so well never really makes any mistakes he also has a youtube channel so make sure to go check him out if you're trying to learn minor decks he's very very good at minor gonna go for a mighty minor here on the valkyrie i put it over there because i don't want to magic archer it he goes for minor on defense probably had a bad cycle i'm gonna pop the ability force out like wall breakers or spear goblins gonna get my log ready if he goes for wall breakers okay he goes for spear goblins i'm gonna go for a fire spirit to back just to cycle all right he goes for wall breakers so i'm just gonna log the one on the right gonna go for a goblin barrel in the corner here it's always really, really difficult until double elixir because he always goes, yep, stuff like bomb tower, valkyrie in the corner just to make sure that my goblin barrel gets no damage. Gonna go princess in the back here, let him fireball. I just need to get some elixir out of him, try to outcycle him, and maybe I could do something. Gonna go for skeletons here on the left, go for uh, fire spirit. Alright, he goes for magic archer. I'm just gonna go for a mighty miner and goblin barrel here. I'm gonna put it kind of awkwardly to this, maybe I could get a bit of damage. I'm gonna go for cannon here. It's always good to be aggressive in single elixir, but he knows exactly where the barrels are going and everything, so it's nearly impossible to get damage until at least double elixir when I have more. Princess in the middle should clean up this Valkyrie. He doesn't have fireball and cycle, and he doesn't want to use his tornado, of course, because then it could start goblin barreling in the center, and that's when goblin barrels are actually hard to defend, but I can't really goblin barrel in the center because he has tornado in hand, and he'll just activate his king for no damage, so... It's kind of like like hard for us both. I'm going to log on the right and ignore the left because I want to go opposite lane from him. It's much better to go opposite lane in my opinion. I'm going to go for Goblin Braille here and he's going to be going for Valkyrie again. I'm going to Mighty Miner on the Spear Goblins and then go for Cannon to snipe the Magic Archer. I don't want him to go for like... Yeah, he went for Miner there to try to pull the Mighty Miner into the Magic Archer's range. I don't want to risk that or him going for like a Tornado or something like that. I'm going to go for a Goblin Braille here and a Fire Spirit. Probably just gonna fireball. Like, actually, the bomb tower's gonna kill it. Okay, he does fireball anyways. I'm gonna go for skellies here to kill the wall breakers, and then gonna go for princess here in the middle just to have one up, and then gonna go for fire to predict the magic archer. Alright, he finally uses his NATO, and he messes up the activation. Gonna cannon predict the marcher. Okay, it's on the Valk, unfortunately, but since he used his NATO, I can finally start to go in. Gonna skellies here for the marcher, then go for goblin barrel in the center. He has fireball, but. It's good that I'm getting him to use his tornado because now I can start like putting my barrels in different spots. Gonna mighty predict the bomb tower. Alright, goes for miner. Gonna fire spirit to catch the miner. Then I'm gonna go for princess. Now I'm gonna rocket since he bomb towered. And then I'm gonna need my skellies ready for the wall breakers. Um I'm gonna go for a princess here on the spear goblins. Gonna go for a goblin barrel here on the side as well. He has Valkyrie, but yeah, he goes for Valkyrie. I'm gonna go for a cannon here on the Valkyrie and it will defend the magic archer a bit as well. He could fireball, but I'm not really sure. Okay, just fireball. I'm going to Skelly's predict the miner. I'm going to fire spirit here. Mighty miner up here so he can't tornado it. Go for princess to snipe it. Go for an ability so he can't tornado it into the range of the tower. Okay, going to go for goblin barrel in the center here. I don't even care if he activates at this point. I just need to start being able to get barrel damage. Going to Skelly's here on the wall breakers. Alright, going to go for a log here on the spear goblins. And then go for cannon to snipe the miner. Going to go for another... Goblin Barrel. I'm gonna put it on the side this time since last time it was in the middle and maybe get some damage. And he doesn't have Valken Hand, so it's fine to do it in the in the side when he doesn't have Valken Hand. I'm gonna go for Fire Spirit to kill the Marcher here, and then I'm just gonna go for Princess in the back. Go for Skeletons here, predict the Miner. I'm gonna go for Log on the Miner, go for Goblin Barrel, Fire Spirit as well. Okay, he activates the King Tower. I get a little bit of damage. I'm gonna go Mighty at the bridge. I'm gonna go for. A rocket on the tower too i just need to get some damage here i need to be in the lead I'm gonna go for princess here skeletons as well I'm gonna make sure to log this as well go for cannon to kill the magic archer then i'm gonna go for a barrel here on the tower i'm gonna go skellies to pull in the valkyrie and make sure my princess stays alive I'm gonna go for uh fire spirit here I'm gonna go mighty miner at the bridge too to predict his bomb tower go for princess in the middle just to keep control then go for another goblin barrel he wasted his fireball he got one magic archer i'm gonna rocket goblin barrel Alright, gonna log the tower as well. Gonna go for a cannon. Cause he has to miner. Gonna skellies predict the miner. Go for barrel as well, just to pressure. He goes for fireball, so I'm gonna rock the tower here and he's gonna go for minor wall breakers. I'm gonna log and then I'm gonna fire spirit predict the wall breakers, then go for skellies, and it's gonna be game. There's not enough time left for me to get enough damage. That was a really stressful game against Remy. He's so good, he always makes it so difficult to